This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com, where you can find cool stuff in stock. Hello, and welcome back to another day in the arena. It's me at CGB coming to you with another 100 card historic brawl list. And if you hated me before, this video is not going to change that. The sadly the best and most busted deck in the format is Baral, Chief of Compliance. When the Baral format, I'll call it Barrel, just to try to not make it sound exactly like Brawl, but I do think it's called Baral. But we'll we'll go with Barrel just for the sake of mixing the format and the commander. So Barrel is the Chief of Compliance. This is a human wizard, 1-3 legendary creature, only legal and historic right now. Instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less. It's ramp on a creature. What's the most important thing in Commander? Ramp. Whenever a spell or ability you control counters a spell, you may draw a card if you do discard a card. You get looting. You get card selection for countering spells. I didn't need more reasons to counter spells, but since you provided it on a two mana body that has three toughness, okay, fine, you got me. I'm in. This card was actually banned when the format Brawl was introduced on MTGO. That's Magic Online. Don't worry about it if you've never heard of it. It was a way to play Magic before Arena. It's still there technically, but not really. And uh, it was banned like within a week in that format. But here it is, still legal in Historic Brawl, and it shouldn't be. This is going to be, in my opinion, the most broken deck you're going to see. And I, I'm airing it here near the end of the Historic Brawls week in MTG Arena for a reason. I play against way too much of this as it is. Look, if they never resolve a spell, what can they do? Aggro is already at a huge disadvantage in the format. They need a perfect, per a perfect, a perfect perv. They need a perfect curve and mix of threats. They need to resolve their big hitting commanders. And there's 25 life. Aggro is already way behind the curve. So what do you go up against? You go up against Golos. You go up against Niv Mizzet. You go up against Isika, Galazeth, Prismari. The big hitters, of course. And what does this deck do? Turn to Baral. After that, counter everything you do. It's a blue format, and you're just trying to live in it. And as long as this deck is patient, how does it lose? Look at this pile of counter magic. It doesn't even all fit on the screen. These are just counter spells. I don't know how many there are. Enough, maybe. But yeah, you're not going to make any friends. Second biggest pile, card draw. Lots of card draw. Just lots of various ways to pick through your deck and get more cards into your hand because eventually you run out of counter spells. It's just the nature of the beast. It happens. Some of the big reloads like uh, Pull From Tomorrow, Blue Sun Zenith, Into the Story, Graven Lore, that's usually where they scoop. That's usually enough. If they survive the first two counter spells, they usually scoop to the card draw spell. Um, all right. This column I call other ways to annoy your opponent and get them to leave. Uh, we've got a lot of bounce spells. We got Frogify, which is great on a commander, just shutting it down and taking away its abilities. Mystic Subduel is similar in that way. We have ways to take extra turns in Time Warp and in Karn's Temporal Sundering and in All Runs Epiphany. We've got ways to just steal all their things in Mass Manipulation, Entrancing Melody, Lay Claim, Agent of Treachery. Imbolus is clutches. They're so relieved. They're so happy. They're like, oh my god, I got a card to stay on the battlefield. They didn't counter it. Or, oh my gosh, I played my coma. It's uncounterable. Yes! My coma. Thank you. Then over here we have ramp, because what is the format without ramp? Even though your commander ramps you, a little extra ramp isn't a bad thing. So we've got a few of those. And then we've got our lands. And then over here we have what you might call the win cons. For those of you who think that a one, two mana one three is not a win con. For those of you who think that all these counter spells and obnoxious cards are not win cons, we have a Nezahal the Primal Tide. And we have Torrential Gearhulk and Shark Typhoon and Thrix the Sudden Storm. But don't get it twisted, guys. Most of these games are going to last less than five minutes. We're not going to have to attack our opponent to kill them. They're going to be done with us. They're going to be they're going to be over it in a matter of moments because I don't think any deck is more tilting than the barrel chief of compliance deck. 
I almost hate to do this, but really I don't. Let's dive in. Let the nonsense begin. Omnath. <laughs> that ain't happening. Nope. Forget that. I shouldn't... No, I shouldn't go first. That's ju that's just rude. That That's just rude. Boom. Well, turn to explore. They they knew they they got their ramp part right. Start the countdown. You've got 24 turns to live. Eh, I'd like to use this bone to ash. We don't need to play the tome right now. Although I guess I do have no escape. Opponent has a lightning bolt. Really? Okay. It's fine. Didn't need it. Glad we didn't play the tome. We'd be in a lot of trouble if we played the tome there. Okay, you can't play your Omnath. Nice. <laughs> nice. I think we'll go for it here, because if we hit our next land drop, we can commence the end game. Then Primal Tide cause the opponent all kinds of grief. What a busted format this is. Easily like the most stupid busted format ever. I do kind of love it. I also get anybody, anybody who doesn't like it, I get it. It is so tilting. Do not play this format on tilt. The what people seem to be able to draw out of their hundred card piles is incredible. All right, Sharky Shark, no land. Nothing like missing land drop at a time like this. All we needed was that land for commence, and we were golden. Opponents buying time. They're almost to zombie land. Hmm. Let's go for this. Try to exile it and scry for that land that we need. Does this work? This works. Although they might be able to blow it up. All right, they don't have the land for Field of the Dead. We must defend this signet with our life. Lotus Cobra. Would they have played that last turn? I think they would. I think it means they don't have a land for it, which I think means we'd let that go. No, they did hold it back last turn. That's kind of sneaky. That's very sneaky. Imbolus's clutches targeting my mobilized district? No. None of that. What are you going to try on me next? Omnath! Nom. It also gets around the gate. We got a body on the battlefield. That's gonna make a lot of mana, though. Is that enough to replay the Omnath here? I guess so. Yeah, all right, they have to tap out to do it. Okay. What a cheater. That one missed land drop absolutely ruined us for the game. I don't know if we're gonna get around it now. We've only got this bone to ash. We could play this Nezahal. But I think a lot of things could go bad. But when met with power, you must answer with power. Uh-huh. I'll take a card. <laughs> you get a little bit more. Time warp, though, is interesting. Okay. 
opponents already pulled the rope out. They haven't even stacked their Omnath triggers yet. It's gonna be a great turn. You're just playing the 7-7 seven, seven side? Yeah, you must be. Tank, 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 go. Nice. Alright, we got land. We got this blue sun zenith. We got commencian game. We got time warp. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Do you think our opponent has a counter spell? Are we gonna get countered? We should probably take some risk. Let's try to get Brawl on the field. Our opponent playing the Realm Cloak Giant tells us they're probably not gonna sweep anything. Okay, that resolves, that's nice. Now we can try to time warp ourselves, or we can hold up this Bone to Ash to counter another creature from the opponent. Right now their attack is, they hit for seven with the Giant which is frustrating, but the rest of these don't attack. And we don't really have an attack. Because I don't know what we're going to do about this giant. My turn to tank. Well, if they have a counter spell, we're probably not going to win the game no matter what we do. Again? Okay. They're two for two on killing Brawl whenever they want, uh, so let's move this. Which is really bizarre, because my Omnath deck just doesn't do that. Like, it never happens that I can kill a Brawl. It always comes down and wrecks me from the get-go. But if we play it here, we still have mana open for Bone to Ash, which is, I guess, our best play. I mean, they're running out of steam. They haven't drawn any cards. Omnath is their card draw. So they should be looking for an opportunity to let it die, which Bone to Ash is great if they do that. But no, they're just sending the giant. No blocks. Yeah, when I'm in this position where my Omnath deck is top decking and I don't like my hand, I'm just throwing my Omnath at the opponent. Oh, that's pretty cool. Although, we might use that on the giant. Okay. We also might use the Commenci Endgame to make an even bigger creature. So let's try passing. We have no max hand size. We might blue sun zenith. But yeah, patience, patience. Let's draw. Let's commence. That's a big critter. That can block your giant. Land for the opponent. They make another zombie. Sure. What point do we subduel this thing? We can wait another turn, right? Saw it coming. If we attack with this and they block with the Omnath, we're really happy because we can counter it a few ways now. They'll probably just block with a bunch of their Zombos. And we get rid of a bunch of those, which is fine. Got to trim that down somehow. Take some of the pressure off. Let's just hold. Let's hold with all these options. We can play Thrix, oh, Lanor Elves, come on now. Come on now, that's not good ramping Omnath deck. Sure, it's a part of some god draws, but that's about it. 
All right, we found flying pressure. Let's begin the attacks. 35 and falling. No max hand size because of the Neza Hall. Enjoy it. All right, so let's go ahead and use some of our counter magic here. <laughs> Get the sweet trigger from Brawl here. Uh, yeah, why not? Think that the spell pierce is a bit outmoded here. Our opponent has too much mana. So this is 5-6 because of Thrix and Brawl and can't be countered. Seems good. Oh yeah, it is, it is happening. Look at that into the story for two mana. If you thought into the story for four was gross, let's do this. Wait, oh, we're, we're, we're near the combat step, that's why. Rix, keep it coming. It got scary there for the for a minute. The opponent did actually put up a fight. They put together enough ramp to get their Omnath onto the field, and they played a big old giant that looked like it was going to cause me trouble. But the deck found a way to lock it up pretty fast. And I don't think my opponent's going to have the stomach for what comes next. We're on, we're on scoop countdown, and I don't know how to string them along to let them believe. If they played a thought distortion, what would I do? I would clap. <laughs> I'd have to just clap for them. I'd make a ton of sharks, though, and I'd probably beat them to death with them. Thought distortion's not enough. Oh, are you going to give me the ropey, the, 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 the salty ropesies? No, not like this. Not like this. Your tears, your tears sustain me. Okay, tank, 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 crisis. I love it. I love it. This will get him. This will get him. Spell, ability, target non-land permanent to return to owner's hand. Well, let's get the shark. That looks fun. Target creature I control. That's the shark. Let's target me. You too, my friend, can have it all. And give them nothing. Go los. Let's go. Hmm, am I playing the vision or not? Usually I just play it tapped because you want to hit every land drop. Yeah. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Probably just play it tapped. Yeah, be safe. Be safe. Make your land falls. Opponents into that. Seagate Reborn hitting the battlefield. If I had known my top card, if I had known my top card, I would have held on. Would have held on to that uh, Silundi Isle. So, got anything for the Brawl? Tangled Florahedron. All right, our opponent remembered to ramp. Very important. I apparently broke the server with that play. A little bit of lag. Sounds like it might have been on my computer's end. I don't think we foretell. Not when we have Brawl. It's not enough upside to it. Yeah, that's fine. 
Maybe I'm supposed to be hold right there. But I don't think they're going to get an island, but let's see. Swamp? Swamp for Thought Erasure? <clears throat> Nothing. <clears throat> there is stick. They might have Pact of Negation. You feel it? I feel it. Those are good. Those are some spells. But against Pact of Negation, we need to be able to counter and counter. So we can only afford two mana this turn. So I think we use the two mana to foretell. No, we don't. Because, yeah, we need, uh, this is two, this is another one. We only have one spare mana. If the opponent goes for Golos and we packed it, I don't think they can win. But they might be able to double counter now. They go for a Duress. Let's see. If they take... Well, the Duress won't get them through. It won't get them through even with a Pact. As long as we don't tap mana to spend here. The Karn's Temporal Sundering has to be terrifying. They grab the Narset. Yeah, it was a really good hand. It's a hard hand to overcome. All right. No escape. And Frogify on top. Pretty good. Your Commanda is on lockdown. Take. What do we discard? We can drop the Spell Pierce or the Torrential Gear Hulk. Maybe we do just drop the Frogify that we left on top, which would kind of be counterproductive. But next turn, we are going to cast Temporal Sundering. And I don't plan to let their Golos resolve, after all. So if I cast the Tem Temporal Sundering and they Pact, the next turn they have to pay, and we just get rid of the Pact. So that's pretty good. We take that. Like, it's not a good deal for them to Pact here. And they know it. I feel like our opponent's got a brain. This should be an interesting game. <laughs> and then it wasn't interesting anymore because they can't resolve their spells. All right. New Golos to deny. On to play? is for me let's keep oh you want a hello you're not gonna like me you're not gonna like me soon and you hate me <laughs> just slam it man just slam the card Why does it still say my commit costs four, but everything else is reduced? Theories? Conspiracy theories? Cold Steel Heart. Our opponent knows the rules of the game. They have ramped. Let's say go. We might use the commit here. If we don't, we can blink of an eye their Cold Steel Heart and deramp them. Solemn. Well, so much for deramping them, but I, we still let that resolve. We have to save the commit for other things. I think we bounce the Cold Steel Heart. I'm trying to decide if I want to do it with Brazen Borrower or not. I want the Borrower on the board pretty soon. I think I do it with Blink. I need the card. I need more counters. Don't have enough of them. Okay. Get this on the field. Hold up the commit? I think so. This Kanta just has to wait, man. I want to get the Brazen down. Alright. Well, they go for this. Yeah, I want to get the Brazen down, then Time Warp. 
and then also have his Kanta, hopefully at that point. They choose to put it into the library, which is interesting. I could, if I can just find if new rivulet to mill it. We could also shuffle away their library with memory. Oh my gosh, do we do that? Do we just shuffle their commander away? Do we shuffle their commander away? Look how good this hand is, though. We can time warp, can't we? Yeah, we can time warp, then make that decision. All right, time warp. Also, let's petty theft this. And a negate. Let's see, what's this, five? So I can't play the clock. I can't play anything else. Let's see if they redraw their commander, shall we? Will you find your commander again? Will Golos find you? Is Golos like Jack on Titanic? Will he always find you? Look at this hand. Narset. We've got Counterspell and Mystic Sanctuary to get it back. Tome of Legends to draw right into it. This hand is insane if they don't do something really good right now. And right now, Proudwalker is mourning the loss of the Golos. Where have you gone, Golos? All right, no, no creatures here. You just get to witness your sadness. That's what you get. This is Counterspell. I usually turn off the Japanese styles so that they're easier to recognize. I'll try to remember to do that between game. Apparently, I missed that one. 100 card decks are a lot to look through when it comes to card styles, okay? So it's, it's a process. It's a big process. Narset. Resolves. Oof. What's the right card? It's got to be the Seagate. It's so many cards. I mean, it's absolute lockdown if it resolves. And Tome. In fact, we can Seagate Sanctuary, which is gross and should absolutely happen if the opponent doesn't scoop. <laughs> Dude, where's your commander? Bro, 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 where's your commander? Bro. Hundred cards. Did you get your Golos to come back to you? Okay, let's draw. They leave open a lot of mana. Let's see if they have something at instant speed here, but I'll make them have it. Narset. Time warp. Oh. Um. This is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. But we're doing it. I would like to double my hand size. Disdainful stroke, huh? Do we fight? Do we fight for what we believe in? Sure. Worst case scenario, we'll get it back. We'll take that action. Drop off this desert that we would cycle anyway. And say hello. But now our opponent gets a turn to do whatever nonsense they want. River's Rebuke is in the house, though. Sensor, Quench, Juari Disruption, Supreme Will. All kinds of taxing effects. Goodbye. <laughs> A Golos deck without Golos is so sad. Winota. All right, let's go. I tried to play Winota recently. You can check the results on my uh, stats on untapped.gg. It was hell. It was terrible. Thought it was the worst deck I've ever, like I've played in Brawl by far, not close. Just aggro, in my opinion, aggro in this format is completely dead. And I know, 
It's me. It's CGB. I'm not an aggro mage. But I don't think it's because I absolutely suck at magic or aggro magic. I'm not the greatest, but man, I can't get anywhere playing aggro in this format. Just nowhere. That that. So that does nothing. There's no robber trigger. We can just block. We don't even care about borrowing it. It's not that good. And now we hold up or we Narset. Narset's an interesting one, but then we only leave one blue available. I guess we have River's Rebuke next turn as long as Brawl is alive. The opponent cannot Winota yet. Let's grab the one that counters things. Warboss is a good one, but let's send it back. It's one of the better cards that you get in Historic Winota. And just like that, lockdown is achieved. Ooh, do we want to steal something of theirs? Or do we want more cards? Negate is probably the worst card here. I'm gonna grab the Behold. And then do nothing. Exactly what we wanted to do anyway. The Legion War Boss returns. Say hello to Bone to Ash. Do you have another land? Are you considering uninstalling magic? Okay. <laughs> so, oh, so brutal. When counter spells are this cheap, nothing stops them. Land number five. Blade Historian. Let's give it the little Quencheroo before Quench gets out outsized. That little looting ability on Brawl, it's gross. It's just that little bit of extra it, that thoroughly lets your opponent know that they've been bested. Let's sneak out the Borrower, add a little pressure to the situation. If the Robber of the Rich can block it, but I would trade. And that's where the game ends. Before we draw four. Next Golos will cry. Oh yeah. Um. Hmm. Okay. Let's go treasure map. On the play, I think we can do it. So once upon a time or packed? No, it's once upon a time, right? It's gotta be. Take your draw step first, though. I might draw something useful. What does this do? Black or a chosen color. Turn one Cascading Cataract. So that's just colorless mana for a while. Opponent sequencing is already making me cringe a bit. Hmm. I'm going to get the Tome down and I'm going to try to draw land. That's my mission here. And again. Nice. Okay. So we draw this land. Our opponent looks like they're a ways away from doing anything. They might ramp this turn, but as long as we have a counter ready next turn, I'll feel okay. And let's get the map down, because that can lead to some big mana advantage in the future. We have to cast these card draw spells, after all. Path to the World Tree. Okay. What do you get? 
No one's going to have all their colors, but I mean, Golos fixes it just by fetching the world tree. That was a thing I talked about a lot in my Golos video. You don't need perfect colors in Golos. Okay. Mm, looking for land in all the wrong places. Although now we have the map, so eventually the map becomes a lot of land. I can't really defend you, but if the opponent removes you, it keeps them busy. On the other hand, we could be drawing cards with Tome and Scrying with Map. Let's say go. I don't really want to defend Brawl right now. Command Tower. Opponent feeling good. They've got all these sweet, sweet colors going. Castle Garen brings an interesting one. Because Golos uses colorless, if you have two other green in this, like it can help you play your Golos through a through a um, commander tax. Which is actually pretty cool. A little time warp. A little neutralize action. We don't need to hit a land this turn because the map is going to do it for us. Don't you try to remove it. It'll make me grouchy. Sure. Let's hold up. I only want to lose one treasure if I have to use a counterspell, so... Playing Brawl there would force me to lose two if I wanted to use a Syncopate or a Neutralize. Or at least a Syncopate for two. Okay, opponent does nothing. That's right up our alley. Hi, I'd like to cast my commander. Tails end. Do we fight or do we let it go? I think we just let it go. It's fine. I've had worse. Let's see how many counter spells the five color Golos deck can fit in into the build. It also makes them more likely to commit some mana and do try to do something powerful, which their deck is definitely built around. I've seen plenty of people out there trying to play counter Golos, and you can do it. Run a lot of counter spells in your Golos deck, but in the end, in the end. You're not going to run as many as one of these. As long as we keep hitting land drops, we'll be fine. What do you think? Do we try again? We could try to pull for tomorrow. Yeah, why not? See how many times they can stop us. I don't need Baral to totally execute my plan. I can go straight up, pay for my counter spells. But if it eats up their counter spells, that's just card advantage. Sinister Eve at a card advantage. Day of Judgment. <laughs> okay, well, do I defend? I think if I defend, I'll be fine. Let's go ahead and defend. <laughs> All right. What else you got? Take three. We'll chill. We don't need to draw extra cards there. We don't need to do anything. We just need to attack. I would like another turn. Resolves. Okay. Keep it coming. Sh -sh Shark Typhoon. 
the hardcast. Nothing like the hardcast in a moment like this. So what are you doing over there, Golos? Are you? Do you have the courage to put your commander on the stack to furry? I'll counter that. Seems like a good card. Let's let's not let it happen. Dovin's veto the neutralize. Okay. So that resolves. We get a 3-3, and now we quench the Teferi. That's why Dovin's Veto is so much better. So much better defensively than, like, trying to force through your own stuff. Alright, game. What would I even discard there? I'd probably keep into the story and pull for tomorrow, because I am greedy. Ashiok. Okay. Okay, then. On the play with ramp cards. Seems broken. Seems like something you should not be allowed to do. The only thing that matters in Brawl is ramp. I've said it. I'm saying it again. Monstone. Okay, opponent appears to have something. So let's slow roll our Brawl. Thief of Sanity. Okay. Let's blink it. See if we can hit land here. No. Oh, if we had hit land there, it would be so good. We'd have memory lapse protect brawl. If they go signet into thief, then we have the time warp and we have mass manipulation. Bluff attack. Coward. I, <laughs> let's go for the time warp. We might draw another land. With, well, untapped land, which would have made this mass manipulation play so much better. Because we could have protected it with memory lapse. As it is, we do this. And see if our opponent wants to play Ashiok to get it back. I guess we have Pact, don't we? Pact is a heck of a draw. And then we'll have memory lapse the next turn. Yeah, yeah, this is pretty brutal. Let's see if the opponent has a one mana counter for it. Hmm. Actually a tough discard. Doesn't matter. Opponents like I'm getting hit by Thief of Sanity. I'm not gonna sit through it. I think I discard the rewind. I use either Stroke or Memory Lapse to protect my board, and then the next turn, Agent of Treachery. All right, to Furry. Furry is here. Bite of the Blue Mages. Rick should be pretty interesting if we can get it down. We go first, so we should be able to get Brawl on the field. Let's keep. Come on out, buddy. Let's see if you last. Nope. All right, so it's gonna be one of those games. Opponent with a turn one, one mana removal spell. We draw land, so we're not out of it yet, but we need to draw like four or five in a row. Radical idea. It's a good way to test for priority. All right, miss land drop. I'll give it one more of those before I scoop. Opponent has too many land. Okay, they're keeping me around. Not much we can do about that. Countering it is just signing up for Doom. See if they'll let us have an extra card with Blue Sun Zenith to keep the mana coming. 
Man advantage is going to be everything, and we missed one already. But we've been able to keep up ever since. We've been getting lucky. Fight a little. Let's pretend that we uh, came here to do something. This way we can be all resigned and maybe catch them committing some mana. Nope. They are a very comfortable blue mage. Let's try some artificial ramp. Okay, how many of these effects are there? How many draw twos are there? I think they've played the three I would have even considered running aside from Behold the Multiverse. So I guess four, and they've drawn three. All right, let's go for this. See if we can slap them with a shark. I really want the Thrix to resolve, or at least to play it at a time when it makes things awkward for my opponent. Mmm, nope. Can't be doing that. See if the opponent wants to fight. Not really, they don't. Okay, well that's an interesting sign. I know, they were down on blue mana. I'm well aware. But just getting Brawl on the field isn't enough to really stop them. Or give us a big advantage. That Crawling Barons is going to be a nightmare, though. That Crawling Barons, what are we going to do about that? We have to keep their mana busy now. We have a Field of Ruin. I guess we can try to dig for it. But yeah, we need to keep them fighting. Not pumping the barons. Probably will be the death of us, though. Okay, cancel. Straight up cancel, huh? Straight up cancel. Yeah, they've had a hell of a draw as far as a mirror goes. QQ check. Coward. Okay, we're not keeping the desert. Let's keep the counter. Okay, we have a... So, what do we get back? None of this really solves anything, but Auron's Epiphany can. They've got five cards in hand. At some point, we've got to start quite the fight. Now, we can let them hit us once with a big Crawling Barons, or at least wait one more turn cycle. But I do want to play this land. And I would love to get back the Epiphany if they're going to counter it. Alright, let's do it. Oh, I guess it doesn't play around Mystical Dispute, which we may as well. Let's try to get this down. If they want to keep using counters on this, I think that's okay. X equals five. Why hold up two? Quench? Guess you're a quencher. That's a very mana intensive card you got there. Alright, let's get the counter spell back on top of the deck. 
Take that action. We've also got a wizard's retort here. The opponent doesn't get to pump their barons. They have their field of ruin. Not fair. They can also sacrifice it to shuffle away the counterspell, but they're not going for it. They can force out the Teferi. Can they cast it again? They can. Okay, Bone to Ash can definitely go. Glad I got to turn that into a real card. All right, Teferi's on the board. Commit is in hand. Counterspell is on backup. We also have All Runs Epiphany. This is pretty big. We do need to counter the Blue Sun Zenith. There's no no way around that. But Baral is here. Baral can attack the Teferi. Can play All Runs Epiphany. Resolves. Go for a Borrower? Mystical Dispute. Sure. Subduel is now a very useful card. We'll have to use a counter to get rid of that. Let's see what they do if we put the Teferi away. I think they must be pretty low on counter spells here. All right, if they had put it in the library, we would cast the memory side. Would have been awesome. So Mystic Subduel on the Crawling Barons kills it, right? Because they lose all abilities? I'll, I guess not, because they still have the plus one, plus one counters. Should we draw a fresh seven in the position that we're in with our opponent holding a blue sun zenith? I don't know, man. My gut says to use this counter spell. I might lose the counter spell war, though. Seal away. For the Baral. For the bird. Interesting. That is quite the bright mode you got there. All right, do we draw a card? They're definitely planning to cast Blue Sun Zenith. Memory wipes that out in a big way. So let's hold. They have the Crawling Barons, which they could try to use to ambush the Brawl. The mystical Mystic Subduel doesn't fix it. Go for the tome. They have to use all their blue mana, because this makes white. They have to use all their blue mana on the Zenith, then they untap and they play to fairy. Do you dare charge this up? Yes, you do. Interesting. Let's see you block. Do you dare use it again? Whoa! Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Alright. So we're not countering Zenith this turn. That's a strong card. Kind of. It's not like we have a full hand or anything. But we might soon. Let's see what the opponent does here. Do they try to attack us with the barons, or do they go for Teferi? Or do they go for the Zenith? They're going straight up baronsing. All right. Let's smash. That's what she said. Down to 18. What else? Nothing else. <gasps> oh, baby. Does this resolve? I think I got you. I think I got you now. Narset with memory. 
of course, they're still going to have the Barons. They're going to go for the Zenith, which is going to draw six. If they draw a Pact of Negation, they're in a good spot. But I plan to memory anyway. I just like to have two mana open after I do. Have they used their Pact of Negation? They have not. All right, then we counter the Zenith and we leave the Narset on the field. I know 88 ways to defeat you. Pick one. Go for it. We drew the Field of Ruin. This can't be countered. It's a good keep. For the Barons. That draw was mistimed. That draw was very badly mistimed. I thought I had no max hand size. I confused casting Seagate Restoration with casting Memory. Alright, you're going to plus that? What you going to do there? Okay. Ah, oh, bested the fellow control mage in an epic wizard duel. Guys, Brawl is sick. If you want to check out some deck stats, which you shouldn't for Brawl, quite honestly, because there's a lot of like turn two scoops and two minute games. But if you want to check the stats, untap.gg, check it out. Link in the description. The deck list link also takes you to untap.gg and it can support the channel if you download it. This deck is gross, strongly recommended to the most evil and vile blue mages. And as a control player, I'm going to say it. I hope they ban it. I Baral is a bit barrel chief of compliance is a bit too much for Brawl. On the record for that. It's a bit too much. Thank you for watching this video. As always, I'll see you in, in the next video. You made it till the end. Watching the ch content does support the content, and I appreciate that. If you'd like to support more, hit the join button below for some special benefits. You're cool.